You want to start a website and are wondering if Squarespace is the right tool for you? Welcome to Website Tool Tester, where we will help you find the perfect website builder. Do you ever remember a time when Squarespace wasn't advertising absolutely everywhere? From every podcast you listen to, to Super Bowl adverts? And of course, their marketing would have you believe they're the best website builder out there. But let me walk you through four pros and three of their cons. The first thing to appreciate about Squarespace is how simple their plans are. Two plans for individuals and businesses, two for online stores. These are covered in another one of our videos. Domain is included for one year and costs $20 every year after that. G Suite, for adding a professional email address, is also free for one year on all plans except personal. The plans are not the cheapest, but I find they are fair when you consider the quality of what you get with the features, design, and blog. Their support also scored well in our tests. So, first strong point, the Squarespace templates. They always looked sleek, but there was confusion about which features you would get with each template. This is a thing of the past now, as from the current version 7.1, every template comes with the full array of customization options. The one caveat I always point out to beginners is to keep an eye on the beautiful big pictures. If you replace them with something less impressive, your entire site can immediately end up looking cheap. To demonstrate how the editor works, we rebuilt one of our simpler sites in Squarespace. It's a portfolio with a blog attached. Let's start with a great new feature, the ability to add pre-built sections. It speeds things up and helps visualize the results instantly. If you want to edit text, just click on it and start typing. Less intuitive is the general user interface. You click on these weird gray bubbles, which let you access all the elements you need and also act as handles to drag and drop the elements. Speaking of drag and drop, Squarespace uses a grid system. It's less flexible than, say, Wix, but it always keeps things tidy. All in all, it's a fine editor, but not the most intuitive or easy to use. I was also confused by the fact that you don't get a decent autosave function, which could be frustrating if things go wrong. Organizing your pages is simple and effective with Squarespace. My only qualm is that it only allows one sublevel, which makes it inadequate for big, complex sites. Then, clicking the gear icon lets you access the SEO settings, where you can edit the URL, page title, and description. Great job there. We've noted in our previous reviews how Squarespace's blog feature is one of the best around. In fact, it's probably the only website builder that could challenge the undisputed king of blogs that is WordPress. So you do get every feature you need, such as the ability to create drafts, see all your posts at a glance, schedule posts, and more. I'm especially fond of the Needs Review option, which is great for contributing with team members. And you can even use the Squarespace iOS or Android app to keep blogging on the go. Extra note, Squarespace also offers a podcast stream option, which lets you submit it directly to iTunes. And who knows, maybe one day your podcast will be sponsored by Squarespace too. For professionals who need to promote their websites, Squarespace has a handful of good features like announcement bars and pop-ups. There's also a few paid ones, like the campaigns add-on, to send newsletters. The scheduling add-on, which lets people book appointments, is also good. So, we've been following the rise of Squarespace for a while now, and it's clear that every new update brings welcome tweaks and additions to this website builder. At the top of the list are still the quality of their templates, beautiful design, sleek user experience, and the new update makes them more versatile and easy to use than ever. Blog? Squarespace has everything you need to post regular updates about your projects. Marketing? The SEO options are great. On top of that, the business plans and above include a handy arsenal of lead capture tools. Support? 
great knowledge base, and good quality answers from their team. And here's what I hope they will improve in the future. All in all, it's a fine editor, but not the most intuitive or easy to use. Backup and autosave. It would help with peace of mind to know you can easily recover an earlier version of your site in case you need it. Deeper navigation. I wouldn't recommend Squarespace to businesses who need 30-plus pages with complex menus and submenus. And that's it for this video. If you need more info, don't forget to read our detailed review, or check out a comparison like Wix versus Squarespace, for instance. See you next time.